Hello everyone! In my last video, I've introduced the bread menu at Tokyo Disney Sea. Mayumi ga imashita! O hisashiburi no saikai! Mayumi genki sou desu ne! This time we will stay at the hotel. If you watch this video to the end, you will see what follows. One night stay at the Toy Story Hotel, one of the Disney hotels. A superior room with a square view. Accommodation with breakfast, buffet in the morning and at night. We hope you can watch to the end of this video so you can see these details. Here are today's pants. I am now at my Hama station. I will be staying at a hotel today. The hotel I will be staying at is the Toy Story Hotel, one of the Disney hotels. I have stayed at Disneyland Hotel, Hotel Miracosta, Celebration Hotel, and Ambassador Hotel. The last one is the Toy Story Hotel. I am very much looking forward to it. By the way, the time is now 1640. We can check in, so let's hurry to the hotel as soon as possible. The resort line has arrived. The 40th anniversary event will end at the end of March. I hope it will continue more. Now let's take the resort line to the Toy Story Hotel. The nearest station to the Toy Story Hotel is Bayside Station. By the way, the weather today is rainy. It is raining quite hard. Crops will grow. Let's go through the ticket gate. The resort line has arrived. It is the resort line of the 40th anniversary that I saw from my Hama station a while ago. Since I was walking leisurely to the station, it caught up with me. It was three days before I booked the Toy Story Hotel that I reserved this time. I happened to be looking at the site and saw a cancellation. When I look at the reservation site, sometimes there are openings. Guests on the resort line are mostly foreigners. The Disneyland gate is in sight. The time is 5.06 p.m. I can see guests leaving the park. Suki, this is Minnie, who someone drew on the window. She is very cute. Our next stop is Bayside Station. The hotel in front of us is Grand Nico Tokyo Bay Maihama. Grahama for short. I stayed there last year and the breakfast was very good. The lobby is very open, with a vaulted ceiling. And this is Hilton Tokyo Bay. Hilton Tokyo Bay is currently holding a strawberry dessert buffet, Strawberry Meets Paris. We have arrived at Bayside Station. I see many guests getting off. Are they all staying at the hotel? As I passed through the ticket gate, I found a sign for the Toy Story Hotel. Exit the ticket gate and proceed to the left. This is the Fantasy Springs Hotel, scheduled to open in June. I have not yet made a reservation for this hotel. We are now on the ground level. Let's check the map a little. Here is a map of the surrounding hotels. Toy Story. Hotel is three minutes walk from here. It is the nearest building from the station. We have arrived at the hotel. This is the Toy Story Hotel. Toy Story Hotel is a Disney hotel that opened on April 5th, 2022. It has 595 guest rooms. The building has one basement floor and 11 floors above ground. By the way, I have introduced Toy Story Hotel under construction in my old video. Here it is. This is a video from June 2020. 到着しました。先ほど見えていたトイストーリーホテルの立体駐車場の裏手側になりますね。近くで見るとクレーンがめちゃくちゃ高いところにあります。So let's get right into the grounds of the Toy Story Hotel. There are colored pencils, there is a long road leading to the hotel building. The blue building in front is the Toy Story Hotel. The left front of the building is a parking lot. Standing upside down on the hood of that car is my translucent girlfriend. I can see the ball object. It is the well-known Pixar ball from the Toy Story series. This is very exciting. It is a very nice color. We have arrived at the plaza. It is a park and it is lit up. This place is Slinky Dog Park. As we proceed inside, we see Jessie. She looks very nice. Ski. Jessie, you have long legs too. 
This slinky dog park is designed to look like a backgammon game board. On the ground are backgammon squares. We guests seem to be the size of toys. There was Buzz Lightyear, a space ranger firing his astro blaster. He looks very imposing. I sometimes look in the mirror after taking a bath in this pose. We arrived at the Toy Story Hotel. It is very colorful and has a very cute design. Today we will be staying here for one night and two days. When you enter the Toy Story Hotel, a cast member checks your name. This is to check if you are a guest or not. I also told them my name. Let's go inside the hotel. You have arrived at the lobby of the Toy Story Hotel. Bobby in the lobby. When I look up at the hotel lobby, I see colorful pictures. Is it a backgammon game? This is also a very cute design. Bo is also drawn. Ski. Before checking in, let's take a look at the facilities inside the hotel. First of all, here we are at the Gift Planet. This is Gift Planet, it is a Disney store in the hotel. This store sells souvenirs featuring Toy Story Hotel. In addition, they also sell regular souvenirs sold in the parks. There is also a wide selection of candy souvenirs, and if you cannot buy them at the park, you can still buy them here. Hours of operation are from 8 tardy to 21 Lao. There's a Toy Story Hotel cup, a Lotso stuffed animal, and a Toy Story Hotel drawstring. They are very cute. They also sold pants. Toy Story pants indeed. I have both of these pants. Let's continue to look at the other store. It was very crowded. Here we are. This is Shop Together. It is a store selling snacks, beverages, daily necessities, baby items and so on. This Shop Together has a very extensive lineup. This is the ice cream section. Like the Disneyland Hotel, it is full of 31 ice cream. In addition, the shop is fully stocked with masks, body warmers, band-aids, handkerchiefs, and various daily necessities. The store is open from 6 to a.m. to 24 sol p.m. This is the figure section where Pixar figures are sold. To the right is the bath ball section. So let's buy one from the bath ball corner again this time. Since we are at the Toy Story Hotel this time, let's buy a Toy Story bath ball. In addition, Monsters Inc. Ulaas, Cars and Mickey bath balls are also available. One bath ball costs 6 home 5 yen. We are back at the lobby. This is the front desk, which is very stylish. The world of Toy Story is fully expressed. It says, you are my friend. Check-in has been completed. Now let's go to your room. This time, the room is on the top floor, the 11th floor. You have arrived at your room. This is a superior room square view room at the Toy Story Hotel. This is Andy's room. This room is for one night and two days. Breakfast and dinner are extra. And the price is $42,500 yen. Now let's take a look at the details of the room. First, before it gets dark outside, let's take a look at the view from the window. What is the view like from the top 11 floors? Curtains open. You can see the ocean right away. 
As we get even closer, the courtyard is Konnichiwa. The courtyard is filled with characters from Toy Story. They look very happy. I would like to go play with them later. On the other hand, on the left is the ocean, an ocean view. Unfortunately, it is raining today, but you can see the ocean spreading out. The one doing the backstroke over there is my crystal clear girlfriend. Now let's take a look inside the room. In the corner of the room, there is a desk and a chair. The design looks like something Andy would use. The round table is very compact. On the desk, a ham says hello. Nice eyebrows, isn't it? On the other side of the ham is a poster of Buzz. Next, let's come to the beds. There are two beds in this room, and between the beds, there is a firm type of bazama. This is the bedside bezamot. The bezamot is equipped with a power outlet and a USB port. The bed in this room is probably a semi-double type, so you can sleep comfortably, and if you look at the wallpaper, you will see Andy's drawing of Woody and Buzz. They are also cutely designed. Incidentally, this bed is also equipped with a light, which can be used for reading. I tried lying on the bed. When you lie on the bed, there is a TV in front of you. And if you look up, you will see a star. It has a star-shaped light. It is also very cute. When you turn on the TV, the screen displays information about the hotel. You can see various notices, park ticket information, information on the hotel's facilities, and more. You can also check out from this screen. There is a handle attached to the bottom of the TV. Pulling this one out, you will see a bed from inside. This is the third bed. The room can also accommodate a third person. There is also an illustration inside and everyone is sound asleep. It's a painting with a gentle taste. There is a desk next to the TV. It is a wide type of desk on the side. On the desk is a kettle, a container for water and tissues. On the other side, there is a telephone, a notepad and postcards. Here are the postcards. There are two different designs for a total of four postcards. There is a clock on the wall. The clock has Mickey on it. It is also very cute. Now, let's look under the desk. This is a refrigerator. The refrigerator is of the type often found in hotels and did not contain any bottled water. Next to the refrigerator is a security box, and under that is a pair of indoor clothes. Is it a design of Buzz? I would like to wear this after taking a bath. In addition, there was an ice pail, cups, coffee, and tea. By the way, the coffee and tea are the same lineup that was available at the Disneyland Hotel and Miracosta. Now let's take a look near the entrance. On the left, as soon as you enter the room, there is a hanger by the wall. This one is also colorful. Underneath is a stand with slippers on it. On the slippers is Woody's face. Now let's continue to the washroom. The washroom is on the right as you enter the room. Here is the bathroom at the Toy Story Hotel. The design is based on white with a jigsaw puzzle on the wall. This is also a very cute design. The washroom is very simple and has fewer amenities to take home compared to the Lant Hotel and Miracosta. Here are the amenities. There are toothbrushes, amenity kits, and hairbrushes. Each one also has a picture of a character on it. Next, let's take a look at the restroom next to the washroom. The wallpaper in the restroom also has a jigsaw puzzle design. White and full of cleanliness, the toilet is very simple and comes with a bidet. Now let's take a last look at the bathroom. What are the bathrooms at the Toy Story Hotel like? The bathroom looks like this. It has a washroom and painted on the wall is Wheezy. She is singing a song, isn't she? The bathtub is rather compact. However, the washing area has more space and is a great size for children. Shampoo, conditioner, and body soap are provided on the wall. The water pressure of the shower is like this. The water pressure is like a Toy Story. Now that the room introduction is complete, I'd like to go see the courtyard. The elevator hall is filled with Buzz Lightyear. 
We have arrived at the lobby on the second floor. It looks like you can go out to the courtyard from this door. And there are umbrellas for rent. We went outside. We are immediately greeted by many little green men. Now let's go up the stairs to the courtyard that was visible from the room earlier. We have arrived. This is Toy Friends Square, the courtyard of the Toy Story Hotel. The time is 6.35 a.m. There is no one in Toy Friends Square. Hello. Standing here is Mr. Bo Peep. It is a very nice appearance. Skew, skew, skew. This is Miss Wheezy, the person who is singing in the bathroom of my room. You are my friend's lyrics and the sheet music are also written. The Toy Friends Square looks like a raised Pixar ball in the middle. Looking further back, there they are. Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Woody, who looks like he is about to start moving, was not at the hotel entrance, but I was able to meet him here in the courtyard. I was very happy to see Woody. By the way, Zarg is also here. Now, let's go have dinner after this. I had reserved a dinner place in advance, so I would like to head there. Here we are. This is Lotso Garden Cafe, the dinner venue. I made a reservation in advance with priority seating. By the way, even if you have a reservation, you need to purchase a meal ticket. Like dinner, breakfast also requires a meal ticket. We have reservations for tomorrow's breakfast, so let's buy them now. Breakfast is 3,400 yen per adult, and dinner is 4,700 yen per adult. We were able to purchase them without incident. Here are the meal tickets for breakfast and dinner. I would like to go to dinner immediately. I entered Lotso Garden Cafe. Seating is unreserved, and I secured a sofa seat here. Here is a view of the interior of Lotso Garden Cafe. The time is currently 2030. It is probably because it is spring break season. There are many guests. And here is the food corner. It is quite spacious. There is also a corner where the chef prepares dishes in front of you. Now, I would like to go and get some dishes. First is the vegetable corner. There are a variety of dishes. Pasta salad, caprese, vegetable slices. On the far right is the garden salad. The background music from Toy Story is playing, which is very exciting. Next door is the appetizer section. Some in small glasses, some on spoons, some tarts in the shape of Pixar balls. Very stylish. On the right side is pork with spicy garlic sauce. We come to the Japanese food corner. This is miso soup with clams and vegetables. There are also green onions and more koshihikari rice next to it. Next is the Chinese section with noodles. This is jarred noodles. The brown color of the jarred noodles looks very tasty. Next door, there were also steamed meat buns and spring rolls. And here is the main Western food corner. Here is a pilaf with takana and minced meat. Next to it is roast chicken with bouillon sauce. Tomato cream pasta with crab, octopus and potato agilo. And here you can take as many buckets as you want. Here is steamed salmon, potato, and mushroom gratin. We came to the corner where the chef prepares the dishes in front of you. Available here is Lotso's special beef stew. It looks very delicious. Here is another corner where the chef prepares the dish in front of you. This time it is roast pork. You can choose from three types of sauces. Barbecue sauce, grated ponzu, and strawberry sauce. Here is steamed vegetables. And next to it is hamburger steak, pasta with cream sauce, and seafood pizza. Also here are curries, scrambled eggs, and chicken pilaf, and french fries that the kids will love. There was also chicken gumbo soup. The takeaway, the dinner buffet at the Toy Story Hotel. I seem to be the only one at the story who came alone. I took a lot of dishes from the dinner buffet. They all look very delicious. It is very hard to decide which one to eat first. First of all, here is the agillo with octopus and potatoes. The agillo is filled with octopus. I put the potatoes on a baguette. The potatoes are very soft. The oil soaks into the baguette and the baguette is crispy. 
The meat buns and spring rolls are consistently delicious. Between you and me, I got teary-eyed because I put too much hot pepper on them. Next up are the tortillas, tortillas with buzz on them. Looking at the tortilla from the side, you can see broccoli, prosciutto ham, etc. like this. The flavor is light and you can eat it in one bite. Crab tomato cream pasta is full of crab flavor. We have reached another plate. We start with the soup before it gets cold. This soup is chicken gumbo soup. It has a lot of ingredients and tastes like minestrone with okra, which warms you up. Next is this one. In the shape of a Pixar bowl, this is vegetable curry and potato tart. This dish is full of Toy Story feeling. You can eat this in one bite. It tastes like curry bread and is very delicious. This is a salad of tuna and grilled eggplant, which tasted smoked and very savory. The last dish was this. This is Lotso's special beef stew, which the chef prepares in front of you. There are also mashed potatoes in it. The meat in this beef stew is quite tender. It is slightly sweetened and feels vanilla flavored. It was very tasty and would be a delight for children. Thank you for the meal at this Lotso Garden Cafe. If you return your tray and dishes to the cast member, you will receive a sticker in return. I thought it was only for kids, but I got one too. It's a system that makes cleaning up fun. Now let's continue to get desserts. What are the desserts at the dinner buffet like? Here we are at the desert corner. As you can see, there are a variety of colorful sweets, jellies, tarts, etc. in the desert corner. This is Lotso's tiramisu with Lotso's face on it and next to it is strawberry shortcake followed by mango mousse and raspberry cake. Looks very tasty. I got it. Dessert buffet, sweets bets burrito here. まずはパンを2つ略してパンツ。ロッツとリトルグリーンマン。目を描いたせ。ロッツはストロベリーメロンパン。相手目は描かない。中はパイ生地とてもサクサク。目を描いたせ。これとのソースで目を描いていく。私はこういうの非常に苦手な男リトルグリーンマンのパンほうれん草のバナナをかむと非常に美味しい美味しいフルーツゼリー中にフルーツたっぷりかむと果汁が出てくる とてもみずみずしいわマンゴムースとラズベリーのケーキは中にチョコレートマリのマンゴーが甘いそりゃそうでしょうロッソのティラミスケーキさっぱり食べやすいホワイトチョコムースはベリーのゼリーがうまい一
It was Woody who came out this time. I am very happy about this. Sheriff's bathing. I think he will not be able to use his gun as he is bathing with his clothes on. I got out of the bath, and I am now wearing my Toy Story Hotel indoor clothes. The design of the indoor clothes is buzz. I get very excited when I wear this. By the way, the indoor wear is a type that has a separate top and bottom. Well, I am going to sleep today. Good night. Good morning. It is now morning. It is now 6 to a.m. It is raining again today. Looking at the courtyard, I see that some of our guests are already active. They are very early risers. Now I have reserved a buffet breakfast, so I would like to get ready and head to the venue. We have arrived at the lobby. The breakfast venue this time is Lotso Garden Cafe, where we had dinner yesterday. We got in line. The time is now 6.20 a.m. They open for business at 6.30 a.m. And my reservation is also at 6.30 a.m. Even if you have a reservation, you need to buy a meal ticket. So it is recommended to buy it in advance. We were then shown into the restaurant. Like dinner, breakfast is free seating. I secured a seat. This time, I secured a window seat. We came to the opposite side of the area from yesterday's dinner. Now, I would like to go get the first breakfast buffet at the Toy Story Hotel. I entered the restaurant at the same time it opened at 6.30 a.m. and more and more guests were coming in. First here is the bacon and colorful vegetables and next to that is the Spanish omelet. They are nicely lined up. Now the sausage platter. Scrambled eggs, a hotel favorite. There are also chicken nuggets that children might like. There are potato croquettes, tofu hamburger steak with cream sauce, and soup. This is vegetable soup and looks very tasty. We came to the cold section. There is yogurt and panna cotta. They are colorful. And next to it, there is apricot bean curd, mango, and berry sauces. Here is cereal, or to put it politely, oh cereal. There are three kinds of cereal. Chocolate, cornflakes, and fruit granola. We have come to Pantachi land. There are all kinds of breads, some ratzos and hams. This is the fruit section. There are oranges, pineapples, melons, fruit cocktails, mango pudding, and coffee jelly. We come to the food corner again. There are shrimp and cauliflower with strawberry mayonnaise sauce, and also in a small container, a smoked salmon and ratatouille salad. Very stylish. Complete with miso soup, of course. And for more Japanese food, hello chikuzen ni. Furthermore, there was also warm soba noodles next door. Very healthy. Toy Story. Hotel also offers a variety of other Japanese dishes for breakfast. This bright red dish is chicken tomato stew, and the yellow dish next to it is a mixed berry, bread au gratin. This one also has lotso on it. Other dishes included turmeric rice, vegetable green curry, Chinese steamed buns, shao mai, and porridge. Japanese food, Western food, Chinese food, they are all available in this gorgeous lineup. I got it. Breakfast buffet. First the yogurt. I had plain yogurt with jam sauce. Very bright. Orange and pineapple are sweet and delicious. Now the vegetable soup, this one is full of vegetables. It was light and light and not too salty. Now the dishes in small containers. The left side is a Gabby Gabby and the right side is a ham. Let's start with the ham. This one has egg mayonnaise and ham. It is salty and very tasty. It looks delicious on bread. Next is Gabby Gabby, which is a potato salad. This is a potato salad with large potatoes. I took another plate with a generous portion of dishes. All of them were delicious, but I especially recommend this porridge. You can freely add your own toppings to this kanji. I poured a lot of chopped Chinese pickles on it. I added a lot of chopped Chinese pickles and green onions. The breakfast dishes are cute, stylish, and delicious. So if you stay at the Toy Story Hotel, you should definitely try the breakfast buffet and try the various dishes. Thank you very much for the food.
It looks like the freshly freed cinnamon suga donuts are ready. Now let's go to the second buffet and get dessert. We came to the Panteki corner. The chef makes them right in front of you. There are three kinds of sauces. Syrup, mixed berry and chocolate. Whipped cream is also included. Here is the dessert buffet. Let's start with this one. I got the ham bread, strawberry roll bread. You can write with chocolate sauce here too. Let's start writing. I was able to write. It is a little bit not enough as it is. This strawberry roll bread is very chewy, just like the little green man bread for dinner. And the strawberries and chocolate go very well together. Next here is a cinnamon sugar donut. This one is freshly fried. It's fried to a golden brown. This donut is a little big to eat as it is, so I cut it into pieces. Let's eat it right away. When you prick it with a fork, the surface is very crispy. It is crispy, crunchy, and covered with lots of sugar, making it very tasty. You can also feel the cinnamon. And finally, the pancake. I poured all the syrup, chocolate, and mixed berry sauce. The pancakes are consistently delicious. My favorite is the one with berries and whipped cream on top. It is very tasty with just the right amount of sourness added. Please try many of their sweets. Thank you very much for the meal. Now it is time to check out. To check out, simply press check out on the TV screen in your room. Very easy and smooth. Then put your card key in the box in the lobby to finish. Checkout is completed. The time is now 8.30. Let's continue to ride the resort line to see the morning wait for the Disney Sea Station to open. We boarded the resort line, which was busy with many guests before the park opened at 9 all a.m. We have arrived at the Disney Sea Station. The time is now 8.50 a.m. Today is a weekday and it is raining, but there is a long line. I guess there are many students on spring break. It looks like Disney Sea will be very crowded again today. The park seems to have opened safely. I am going home today. So I have introduced Toy Story Hotel, two days and one night superior room square view room. It was a very satisfying hotel for Toy Story lovers. From the room decor to the food, everything was all about Toy Story. The price is also lower than the Miracosta and Land Hotel, so I highly recommend this hotel. If you have a chance, please try staying at the Toy Story Hotel. If you look at the official website, you will see that there are sometimes cancellation slots available. I hope the contents of this article will be of some help to the princess and prince in front of the screen. If you enjoyed the video, please click the good button, and if not, please click the bad button as well. See you soon. ご視聴、サンキューありがとうシェイシェイ。YouTube メンバーシップを始めました。ぜひ概要欄からご確認ください。その他サブチャンネル、もっともっとボビーマイハマー、音声配信ボビーのレディオ、ボビーのノート、ボビーのオンラインショップ、これらも載せておりますので、ぜひ見ていただけると幸いです。それではまた次回の動画でお会いしましょう。バイバーイ。やべ。